Welcome back to Crypto Warehouse. My name is Mike and today we're going to take a look at Big Time, which is currently in its pre-season launch phase. Why am I taking a look at this project? Because the currency is Big Time, which is a cryptocurrency and the game is built with NFTs. That's right, this is a Web3 game. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to delve into the gameplay. I'm not going to tell you how to craft items. I'm not going to go into any of the details about how the game works. I'm going to look at this from a crypto project perspective. I'm going to take a look at the project. I'm going to take a look at the team behind the project, who the CEO is. We're going to take a look at the economy. We're going to take a look at their socials. We are also going to take a look at the price action of Big Time Token. And then I'm going to give you my conclusion on what I think Big Time is going to do in the next bull run. Before I do any of that, can I please ask you to like and subscribe to Crypto Warehouse, help us make videos like this, and also make videos about scams, up and coming projects, and general crypto news. So what is Big Time? Well, the story behind Big Time is that humanity is on the brink of extinction and the walls of space-time are collapsing. Different eras of history are colliding together and forces of darkness are coming through the tears in time. Well, doesn't that sound scary? You can play as one of six classes within the game. The Time Warrior, the Chronomancer, the Shadow Blade, the Quantum Fixer, Tech Blade and Battle Mancer. Each one of these characters comes with its own base abilities. To find out more, as always in these videos, I will leave all the links in the description below. Another element to Big Time is the ability for you to create your own metaverse. Use space to build your own personal metaverse inside of the Big Time universe. Customize your home and invite your friends to come hang out online. This sounds an awful lot like Fortnite. And another really cool feature of Big Time is the procedural generation. This creates new content and new experiences every time you play the game. This is something really cool and with the advent of AI being built into games more and more, this is going to become the norm in the future. So it's great to see that Big Time has this already built in. Let's move on then to have a look at how the economy of this game works. There are three statements underneath never pay to win free to play and player owned economy now let's have a look and see if this is the case create collect buy trade and sell you create the nfts within the game or they drop during battle or you find them but you create your own cache of nfts to sell you don't buy them in game so as far as the economy is concerned other players have to buy the NFTs from you to actually use them within the game. I like this, this is a nice touch. As well as from drops, you will be able to build your own workshops within your space. They will consist of forges, armories and time wardens. Forges and armories are used to craft and upgrade cosmetic, weapon and armor digital collectible skins, the NFTs. Time Wardens are used to craft, recharge and upgrade hourglasses. Hourglasses are utility digital collectibles that must be equipped in game to earn tokens. One part of this is that you will need the Time Wardens to actually play the game and earn the big time token. So within your space you have three elements. You have the Forge, the Armoury and the Time Wardens. The Time Wardens are the key here. You need the Time Wardens to be able to generate the Hourglass collectibles to then earn Big Time, which is the token associated with the game. Now I will look at the actual tokenomics of Big Time when we go through CoinMarketCap, when we look at the price action. So don't worry, I haven't forgotten to look at the actual tokenomics of this game. But it's good to see the economy is based on player utility and you crafting the items. As I said, this is a far better way to do it than if you played something like Diablo 4, where you have to basically buy to play. And to unlock the game, you have to pay more and more money. I think there was a very famous YouTube streamer who mentioned 
you need to spend somewhere in the region of $2,000 in Diablo to actually max out your character. This is not that type of game. Spooty, this is not that type of party, man. Now, as you know, if you are a follower of Crypto Warehouse, I like to delve behind projects and have a look at the team. The reason I do this is if the, you have an undocked team, they are more than likely going to rug the project. So this game has been in development now for somewhere in the region of three years. The team comes from an incredible A-list background, including Epic Games, Rockstar, Riot, Activision, Blizzard, and the rest. So we're going to take a look at Ari Melik, who is the CEO of Big Time. Here is Ari's LinkedIn profile. He has previously worked for over six years at Decentraland, where he acted as advisor and project lead. So Ari has a wealth of experience in metaverse technology. Don't worry, in this video, we're not going to go through each and every employee of Big Time, but I think it's important to have a look at at least two or three of the main individuals involved. So we've seen the CEO. We're now going to look at the CTO, who is Matthew Tonks. Again, his background is extensive and it is made up of A-list companies. He's worked at Electronic Arts and Epic Games, as well as being at Drifter Entertainment, Bitmonster, and as you can see, he's the CTO of Big Time. So this is a solid, solid team. So now you understand a little bit more about the game, the economy and the team, let's start to look at the crypto side of Big Time. Heading over to Dex Tools, we can see that the market cap is currently $40 million with liquidity of just under half a million dollars. The circulating supply is currently 158 million big time and there are just under 3,000 holders. If there was a fully diluted market cap, it would put it at $1.26 billion. Taking a look at the audit of the token itself, it passes with flying colors. Quick Intel, Token Sniffer, Go Plus and Hoppy all pass with flying colours. Overall, DexT scores it as 86 out of 99. I have seen projects with higher scores, but this is a big project. I think 86 out of 99 is a very reasonable score for this. So clicking on the markets, we can see that it's listed on several massive exchanges, including Coinbase. KuCoin, OKX, Gate.io and Poloniex, as well as being available on DEXs such as Uniswap. Being listed on Coinbase, for example, opens it up to the 50 or 60 million users of Coinbase, which gives it a far bigger purchasing power than the likes of, say, Poloniex. So moving on from looking at CoinMarketCap and Dex2 tools, I will leave a link in the description to their white paper. This is an excellent white paper and breaks down the economy how I would expect to be able to see how the economy works. It shows you the limited supply, it shows you the on-chain demand, it shows you everything about the token. So in terms of doing a deep dive from your point of view, doing your own research, I'd strongly recommend going through the white paper. It's also really easy on the eye. I've seen many white papers which are very, very dry, don't include graphics, and it's very difficult to get through it without wanting to fall asleep every five minutes. That is not the case with this white paper, thankfully. So to summarize their economy, they've done it for me. Thank you, big time. I love it, thank you, thank you. Time Wardens craft hourglasses. Hourglasses are required by our big time suppliers who would equip them and start generating the big time tokens. Without the hourglasses, as I said previously, you would not be able to earn the token. Big time tokens are required for the armory and forge owners who need them to craft cosmetic collectibles. So it's going to cost you money to create these collectibles. These collectibles would then be listed in the marketplace for our non-utility collectible owners to buy. So what they have done is they have created a user base economy, not an economy like Diablo, as I've mentioned before, where you have to buy directly from Blizzard. In this game, you are buying from other players. Now the roadmap, which was updated this time last year, shows a complete breakdown of what they intend to do. This is a very extensive roadmap. And again, I am very impressed with their white paper. I am incredibly impressed 
by their roadmap. As you would expect, it's easy on the eye. The game has been created by developers and UI experts, you would expect that, but it breaks it down piece by piece. These guys have really thought through the game. This is impressive. Now, before we get on to price action and my conclusions, let's have a quick look at their socials. I'm not gonna bring up their Discord channel or Telegram channels, but they are available on the Twitter page. You go here, you'll be able to find all the details. They are here and here. 260,000 followers is a lot more than I normally get on these projects that I review. Just over a quarter of a million people follow big time. This is going to be a big project. Now, as you know, I like to bring you videos as soon as I can. Big time released on the 10th of October. As of the time of recording of this video, it is of course Friday the 13th of October. So I've waited a couple of days to do this and that's because of the price action of the token. So we're gonna get onto that in a minute. What I would say is go and have a look through their Twitter account. It gives you a lot of tips and hints on how to play the game, how to get into the game, how the game works. Everything you need to know is on their Twitter account. Fully diluted market cap puts this at a $1.3 billion valuation. This is of course way too high for a brand new game. But the current market cap based on the number of tokens that are available puts it at $36 million. I think this is wholly undervalued. We could look up upwards from where we are now to maybe 50 to 80 cents for the token, which of course is a nice 2L3X from where we are now. On the downward side, we would be looking towards this area here, which is about 13 cents. Again, it is way too soon to be making price predictions on this token. I can only base the price prediction on the market cap. $35 million, wholly, wholly undervalued. I would potentially put this at at least an 8 to 9x from there. If we 8 or 9x the price from where we are today, we're looking at a $2 coin. Okay, and now for my conclusion. I am going to be brutally honest. I did not expect anything from this game before I looked at it. I was expecting the usual type of Web3 game that had been rushed out. I was expecting it to be a very poor game. What I have found is that there is an excellent team behind Big Time. The gameplay looks good. The economy looks good. The community is there. Everything about this looks like it could potentially become the Fortnite of Web3. And I don't say that lightly. For those of you that watch this channel, you will know I don't make Moon Boy predictions. I am not one of these people to overhype games. In this instance, I have to give credit where credit is due. What I would suggest is you do your own research, first of all, and this is not financial advice, but do your own research on the game. Go to the links down below and go and have a look and check it out yourself. Go and play the game. Remember one of the wisest bits of advice that anyone ever gave was invest in products that you use. And in that instance, if you are going to want to buy into big time, go and play the game. See what the game is like, play it through. One word of caution is if you compare big time to any other game that has had a large uh, player economy, such as World of Warcraft, what you tend to find is that in Warcraft, resources, NFTs, equivalent, of, of weapons or, or armor or whatever is a race to zero where i think big time is different is that there are a limited number of nfts available so there is not a plentiful supply you cannot go and farm nfts day in day out and generate hundreds of thousands of these nfts that's not going to happen in big time so i think that sets it apart from warcraft because with every expansion in warcraft the What's 10,000 gold today will be 500 gold in three months time. Big time is different in the fact that they are limiting the supply through NFTs. The tokens 
and then the amount of tokens that are being released is a fraction of the total supply of big time and that means there is potential for massive inflation in the game so the token value today all being equal if the token doesn't increase in value that doesn't necessarily mean that the actual market cap of the project doesn't increase in value because of course there are more tokens in circulation so there's always tokenomics to take into account but overall I am incredibly impressed by this game I didn't think I was going to say that before I started to research it to be honest but I am if nothing I am honest and I have changed my opinion entirely the team is solid the game is solid the, the economics of it are solid the only two downsides for me would be is this going to be adopted by enough people to generate that that player economy and are the tokenomics are the inflation in the number of tokens being released is that going to cause the tokens over time to lose value but apart from that please go and check out big time i am very very impressed and with all that being said as well as checking out big time make sure to follow crypto warehouse and help us make more videos by this i hope i don't end up putting too many dad jokes into this video but you can't hold me responsible for that until next time i've been mike i will see you in the next video and go and play big time